Hi guys and welcome back to Rags to Riches. I'm Lauren and today's video is, um, well, it's my review on February with my goals. I'm just trying to find out where I wrote this in this book. Okay, I found it. Um, yeah, I look so awful. I have to keep doing my videos in, in the evening times, which is like pitch black. And then I've got all these like, I've got like a white bulb, a white bulb light and then a a yellow warm bulb so I just look really weird <laughs> and I look really tired because I am <laughs> okay so if you haven't seen my goal reviews um, or how I'm wanting to basically I can't even talk <laughs> how I'm trying to talk no um, my 2020 goals um, and I review it every month um, so if you are new then check out the other ones and then come back to this one um, so yeah okay so my categories are fitness wedding my house skin routine life goals YouTube goals and eBay goals okay so we'll start with fitness uh, okay so it says workout plan yes I did a workout plan but have I even stick to it remotely no I have not it's just gone out the entire window um, okay, so the next one um, is get into the wedding dress. I did have um, a dress fitting in February, and so the, basically the story is um, in December the dress came. Um, I think it was the fourth of December. Tried it on and it was really, really tight. Like she really struggled to do the buttons at the back, um, and uh, yeah. So basically, I said, right, I'm gonna try and lose some weight. And I come back in like a few months after Christmas and whatnot. I think it was like a month, about a month and two weeks into the new year. Had the appointment. It was still tight. She still struggled to do the buttons up. But n I can't really, like in December, she really struggled to put the buttons up all the way to the top. This time she just struggled to do it. So there was a bit of room. I did feel a little bit more comfortable, but she did say, right. Don't have any more fittings now, just, you know, exercise and diet well. And then four weeks before the wedding, come in and we'll, if, you, if it's still really tight, then we can add some extra fabrics. I was like, oh, that is such a relief. So even if I can get in the dress, it just looks, it just looks really, really tight. Um, and it's like, I do have fat, everyone has fat, but like, it's making me look, more fatter than what I actually am if that kind of makes sense so yeah I'm just basically squeezing something and it's making me pop out <laughs> so yeah that's where I am with get into the dress um get to eight stone three um I did weigh myself the other day and I am eight and a half stone so I've gained maybe one or two pounds but I think it just depends on the day and the time and everything like that um Get thin arms, get thin thighs, and maybe a six pack. They are my dreams. We all have a dream. I'm just gonna leave that there <laughs> and review that next book and probably say the exact same. Um, okay, so now we're on to wedding. Um, looking to wedding finances. Um, I did do that, but I want to review that again in March and just see where we are. Um, book a makeup artist, I've kind of done that. Book a car service, kind of done that. Um, when I mean kind of car service, I mean like I've only got one way there. I've got no way of getting back. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I am with that one. Um, buy all the stuff. So basically, what that means is all the decorations and that. I've been meaning to do that, and that's this week. I'm going to be all my wedding decorations and stuff are under the bed. I need to get it all out and have a look at it all and be like, right, what do I need now? So yeah, that's where I am with that one. Send all the invites out. I really wanted to get that done in January. All my side of the my guests have been sent out. My partners, I've only got one left, but he said to me, he literally said to me about three days ago, he's not, we've said to the guy, right, are you in? No. Uh, can you come round? Yeah, I can come round. Never comes round and picks the invite up. So basically, we've just left it and we're just going to be basically like, well, we've been waiting for you, mate. <laughs> we don't know how long we're going to leave that one for, but because he's a day guest, so. 
there's just always one. I feel like there's always one person that just lets you down. So yeah. Um, okay, so next we are on with the house. Um, I have some crossed some things out. So I'm not going to mention the one ones because I probably feel like I've mentioned them in Feb in January. I think. I don't know. I think I did. Okay. Uh, get the fence fixed. We've got it fixed, but because we've been having all these like storm Dennis and I can't even pronounce the other one, um, <laughs> this looks like one's going to break very soon. So we might have to re add that one to the list next month. We'll see if it holds up. <laughs> so then the next one is cleaning schedule. Um, I do have one. Not, I've, to be honest, I have been a lot more cleaner, like tidying up wise and stuff. So I'm getting better at it. Um, but I really need to stick to it. I really need to stick to it. Um, looking to get in, into a new room for my partner. He has an Xbox room. Um, I have been thinking about this, but it's. I'm, I think I'm just going to leave that for now. Because I'm after the wedding, I'm wanting to redo my bedroom. So that's more important. I feel like, you know, we need a really nice space just for us. Instead of just like the living room, which is really nice. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> skin. So, I have a skin routine. Yeah, I did. I've not been sticking to it. I did do a skin routine. I haven't been sticking to it. Um, teeth whitening. Yeah, I've got that. Uh, tan before the wedding. Yeah, I have put in my diary when I need to start tanning, aka sunbeds. Um, stop smoking. Nope, as you can tell by my voice, is very croaky, and I have been thinking about that a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, life goals. Oh, by the way, the reason why I put um, stop smoking under my skin is because I think the reason why I'm breaking out so much is because of the smoking. So that's why that's under there instead of life goals. Okay, so life life goals. Have a bed, bed bedroom routine. That sounds like sex three times a week, doesn't it? No, I mean, my bedroom, no, <laughs> my sleep routine is so off. Like, Last night I went to bed at 2am, I was watching Botched on E, which is basically where people have botched up surgeries and then get it fixed by these professionals in LA, and there's some really, really bizarre cases on there, and you just have to like keep watching to find out if they make their boobs look better or whatever. It's just like, I need to know if it's going to look good, <laughs> I can't skip to the end, I need to know. So yeah, um, I think I am going to do... Um, a sleeping routine video in a couple of months um, just to see how if I set myself times and stuff and how I feel basically how I feel really and yeah so yeah I really need to do that um, wake up at a normal time also yeah that's just a no-go I'm literally late every day only drink tea or water, that's really gone out the window in February. Also, eating healthy, I'm like that at the minute. It used to be like really, really bad, but now I'm like that. So it is an improvement. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking what I had for dinner today. <laughs> okay, let's just go through what I had t today to eat. Breakfast, didn't have one. Snack, cream egg, two packets of Quavers, Packet of Monster Munch. For di uh, for lunch, I had um, chicken tikka soup with one slice of bread. I did have two, but my little boy stole one, so I thought, yeah, you can have one. <laughs> um, and then for dinner, I had fish cakes and chips with ketchup. Okay, that is really bad actually. The soup's okay because it's part of my my one eighty five a day or something. It says on it, it's like two hundred and five calories, so. That's pretty good, really. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I really need to get back on it. Um, have one takeaway a week. Um, e We've been, uh, to be honest, our lives in February have been all over the place. So it has been basically get food on the go. Um, so that's been a bit up in the air, really. But I've actually just, sorry, I had like a burp thinking about food. <laughs> Um, I have downloaded an app recently called Yolt. Um, I kept seeing it pop up on adverts and stuff. Um, and so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to... I had to Google and it's free to download. It doesn't cost you anything. And you basically connect the app to your bank account. 
Um, it's all data protection. I looked at it, looked into it, and it was fine. And it shows you how much you are spending on takeaways and stuff, or um, say if you have like a daily coffee, or how much you're spending at lunch at work. It literally knows everything. It puts it all into categories, and I was like, yeah, that the takeaway thing is a lot worse than what I'm actually saying it is. So yeah, not very good. But I look at it every single day. This app. And I'm like seeing where my money's going and it actually has helped me so far not have a takeaway so yeah I will sort that out <laughs> YouTube um sat YouTube journal yeah we have got a YouTube journal um better editing I feel like I am getting a little bit better um it's just having time to do it and having like that like few like a spare two hours where you know I'm on my own everyone's asleep or whatever and I've got time so yeah um ideas for uploads every week yep that is all the way done up till up till December um also this has been actually kind of bothering me as well um I have done scheduled uh, videos all the way up until December there is literally I th they're probably, I think I've filmed like two for December so far. Um, yeah, I've done two for December. I've done one for November, none for October, none for September, August, July. Yeah, so basically, um, if I like die tomorrow, there will still be videos coming out all the way up until December. So if you're like, I someone announces that I'm dead, <laughs> don't be freaked out that there will be still videos coming out. I just, I want to put that out there. I don't want to freak people out. <laughs> Be like, she's not dead. She just put a video on. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I just want to get that out there. Um, okay. So, next is eBay. Get up to 600 listings. Um, I am actually nearly there. There is a video coming out in... When's that video coming out? I can tell you when it's coming out. Um... That's coming out in March, the end of March. So 600 listing video will be coming then. So get ready for that one. That's all I'm going to say about 600 listing. Um, get more Christmas stock before 2020. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned that in my last video that the, the shop that I was going to be using to get my Christmas stock has closed down. Um, so I don't know where I'm going to be getting Christmas stock from. Um, but yeah, there's not really much I can say about that one at the moment because I haven't really looked into it. Uh, school coats, I will look into school coats as soon as it starts warming up and everyone's in shorts and dresses. That's when I'll be looking into that and I suggest you do the same. Um, make fifty pound, £55 a day. That was a recent video that's just come out and it was, everyone really enjoyed that so go check that out also. Um, yeah, that is just a goal and I will review that probably at the end of the year again, just to check. Uh, and take, retake photos of old stock. Um, no, I haven't done that either. So yeah, I haven't really got very far in life right now. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, but yeah, I have actually... <sighs> I keep saying this in like all these videos. Um... Doing these videos is very helpful for me because it's like you set these goals out at the beginning of the year and I have, you know what, I have accomplished quite a few to be honest. Um, but yeah, my head at the moment is just full of stuff that you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this, you need to do that. And then I'm kind of getting like a bit like bogged down with just my brain. Um, and I, act, I don't know if it's just having work a business and having a wedding going off all at the same time but I actually can't wait for the wedding to be over because I've been planning it for three years and I've had wedding stuff up here for three years and I've been accumulating wedding stuff in the house for three years I've been just like oh yeah I can store this it'll be no problem but now it's just like there's a lot and I've got I think it's 180 days until the wedding. So I haven't really got long. 
Um, I, don't get me wrong, I really do enjoy wedding planning, but it's just a case of like, I've had it in here for three years and it's like planning to go and see your best friend for three years, but it's like you haven't done it yet and it's getting on your nerves. That's how it feels. It's just really annoying because <laughs> I'm just like, I think it's because everything's planned and pretty much I've got one thing to pay for and then it, and then I'm done. Um, and it's, it's just, it's just a waiting game now. And yeah, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm sitting here waiting. Anyway, I'm babbling, I'm babbling, I'm babbling. I hope this helps you, you know, with your 2020 goals and keep on track of things. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday. And I'm, if I do an extra video, they will be coming out on Sundays. But that will just be a random thing, which there is one coming out this Sunday also. So yeah, don't forget to check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.